Hi, I'm Saverio from Honor Plugins. Today I'm here because I want to show you our latest plugin which is called Hornet ATVerb. ATVerb is a, a reverb inspired by the algorithm of the 80s. You know, in that decade, uh, the sound of, rever of reverb was uh, a very important part of the sound of music. So we decided to be, to be inspired by those algorithms that always have something in common, like a very dense sound and a um, um, very long tail uh, was available. So uh, what we did is to package all those kind of reverbs, which are made mainly by uh, some delay lines, uh, modulated with, um, with, with uh, some kind of LFO and lots of limitation given by the low power of the hardware of the era. So uh, you get also get distortion inside of the unit and the modulation is not really, uh, is not really um, working um, correctly. So you got a lot of strange things going on that all contributes to the peculiar sound of those reverbs. So we put, we put everything inside our new plugin, which is called ATVerb. And I'm going to explain you how it works. Here we are. This is the interface of ATVerb, which uh, um, like every plugin we did uh, in the last month, it's uh, available in uh, both light and dark mode. You can change it with the switch. And uh, um, on the upper side here, we have the oversample control, uh, which you can freely set to none because it really doesn't give you much more benefits uh, um, in terms of sound, but gives you a higher CPU usage. But if you uh, have a very powerful uh, computer or you want the highest possible sound, set it to four times and it will give you uh, a more open and uh, organic sound. Then we have the bit depth of the virtual converter, because we are simulating the analog to digital and digital to analog converters. Then we have the sample rates of those converters. The quality, the quality control set, lets you set the amount of delay lines used to simulate the reverb. The lowest uh, the, the, you set this value, the more ringy is the reverb, uh, the highest you set it, uh, the more organic you get, of course. Uh, quality 100% uses the most CPU, while 0% um, uses the less. Then we have the dry-wet control, which allows you to dial back the dry sound uh, and mix the reverb and dry sound, and the bypass switch, which of course bypasses the processing. Then we have uh, this slider, which controls the character of the reverb. The High pass and low pass filters uh, are before the processing the, of the reverb, so allows you to change the sound that enters the reverb unit. Uh, then we have the pre-delay that delays the reverb sound by that amount of milliseconds, giving you the idea of a wider stage. Then we have the length which is the tail of the reverb, of course, longer tail are wider stages while uh, or in a way more reflective uh, rooms, while shorter stage, uh, shorter, sorry, length, uh, are shorter stages, small stages, or um, a less reflective uh, uh, ambience. Then we have the density, which controls the amount of feedback that each delay line uh, contributes to the others. Um, let's call, call it some kind of reflection uh, parameter, because if you set it to zero, no uh, cross feedback is happening. So we don't have any kind of diffusion in the room. Every reflection bring, arose, uh, unmodifi arrives unmodified to your ears. While if you set it 100%, you get the, the most possible scattering of sound across the room. So you get a more organic and diffuse sound. Um, reverb, HP and low pass are other, other two filters that this time operates on the feedback of the delay lines, so allows you to change the character of the reverb itself, not the sound that is fed into the reverb. So it's better to let you hear how the reverb sound instead of talking. So here is an example with a snare drum of uh, uh, this drum loop that I have here.
So, as you have probably heard, uh, changing the slider's value and also the other controls drastically changes the character of the reverb, giving you a lot of sonic possibilities to shape uh, the virtual ambience where you uh, are in. And uh, this allows you to create plates, rooms, holes, and, other and also other strange effects. Uh, reducing the pit depth, you can get some noisy effect that may be cool for some kind of music. So you have a lot of possibilities with uh, ATVerb. And um, this was Hornet ATVerb. We have a demo for this plugin, so you can go on our website and try it out before buying it. And of course, if you like it, we want to hear your opinion, and also if you don't like it. So uh, write the comments down in the box here on YouTube, or write us directly, and uh, let us know your feedback. We're always curious to know what you can create with our plugins, and if you like it or not. So thank you very much for watching this video.